From the nation's capital and the capital of high school football in America. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Fairfax, Virginia. I'm Joe Ball, and you are at the game with Burger King and MaxPreps.com. Tonight, we are at Pope Paul VI High School, where the Panthers are coming off of a tough 2007 football season, where they went 1-9 and nine and averaged giving up five touchdowns for every one that they scored. Well, in their season over in 2008, but they did a little bit better than that. They still gave up five touchdowns, but scored two. 35-14, Georgetown Prep beat them just a week ago. Well, tonight, they host St. Mary's Riken, a team that is fielding their first varsity football team in school history. And they debuted that team in smashing form two weeks ago, knocking off Annapolis Area Christian Academy 35 to nothing. Well, week number two was not so friendly to St. Mary's Riken. They had their first Washington Catholic Athletic Conference game, and they took quite a beating. 61 to nothing, Bishop McNamara hand fed them more than they could handle. St. Mary's Riken comes in one and one against the 0 and 1 PPI. Get set, Knights, Panthers coming up right now. The first time Paul the Sixth touched the ball, Adrius Augustus set the tone for the younger St. Mary's Riken team, running over Hunter Wilson. But the rest of the gang shows up and wrestles Augustus down. Then, Stephen Musket says, well, why run over him? My business is in the end zone. He can't quite get there all in one play as Aaron Gafried and John Smith drag him down, but that sets Paul the Sixth up first and goal at the six yard line. And from there, Dan McGrory bulls his way in and look out, because he's not done hitting people. He gets the first six points for the Panthers. They go up 7-0 after Owen Scarborough's PAT. And these cats like what they see. Now, St. Mary's Riken is young, but Coach Bob Harmon has got some serious building blocks. Chris Rixey came out throwing the ball pretty well. He hits Aaron Gafried here for a first down on the night's first series. Then, Rixey takes a shotgun snap. He's going to move it out to the left. Takes an end around option himself. Picks up another first down, but PBI would give up no more yardage. They get the ball back, and Adrius Augustus goes around the right end and breaks free for 17 yards down into St. Mary's territory, down to the 39. Then Trayvon Bennett fakes the give to Augustus, and he breaks it around the left end. He's off to the races. Nobody's going to catch Bennett. He scores a 39-yard touchdown run that puts Paul the sixth up 14-0 on their second possession of the game. And like all good cheerleaders, the Paul the Sixth gals match their counterparts in the push-up game. 14 to be exact. The Panther defense takes charge. Dan McGrory and Stephen Musket grab a hold of Marlo Wood and drive him back from whence he came. Let's get up close and personal with Chris Rixey on the punt team. Here, just about on the back line of the end zone. He gets a lot of pressure, but not a whole lot of the ball. After a short punt by Rixey, Paul the Sixth sets up the offense first down at the St. Mary's Riken 23-yard line. And the hungry fans want some more, and they want it now. But Adrius Augustus fumbles the ball on the next play from scrimmage, and St. Mary's Wyken comes up with their first takeaway of the game. Rixie completes a nice pass on the out route to Tyler Sims, but the night offense can't move the chains, and Paul the Six goes back to work on the O. Dan McGrordy running over, folks. He gets it down to the 14-yard line of St. Mary's Wyken. Watch the hit Sean McShay lays on Adrius Augustus. Boom! Pops him right in the hole. Looked like Brian came up a little stunned after the hit, but it knocked Augustus off momentum. Brian Frank, Chris Bennett, and Jake Cook were able to drag him down. But Steven Musket was able to drive the whole defense back into the end zone for a third Paul the Sixth touchdown. Owen Scarborough's kick makes it 21 0 Paul the Sixth. They go on to win 42 7. Pope Paul the Sixth improves to one and one, and St. Mary's Riken has its second loss in WCAC play. They will be easing the team into the league over the next two seasons. From Fairfax, Virginia, for Burger King and MaxPreps.com, I'm Joe Ball.